promising news about the COVID-19 vaccine left some Americans hopeful and relieved, but most of all, a bit confused. Hi, I'm Tarina Lofton, and I'd like to welcome you to Explained by KHN, where some of the best and smartest health reporters answer common questions about health care and health policy. In this video, we'll be explaining the COVID-19 vaccine. Can you get COVID from the COVID vaccine? The answer is no. The vaccine doesn't contain any kind of live virus. In fact, it doesn't contain any pieces of the virus. What it does is it goes into your body and it gets your cells to create a little tiny piece of uh, something that looks like the virus so that your immune system responds by creating defense against infection and sickness from the virus. How effective are the vaccines? And is 95% pretty good compared with other vaccines on the market? Both the Moderna and the Pfizer vaccine are about 94 to 95% effective after the second dose, according to the research from the clinical trials. Now that's pretty good. The flu shots by comparison are about 40 to 60% effective depending on the year and how closely they match the strain that's circulating. So 94, 95% is pretty good. But remember, even with that, experts say some people are going to still get COVID after being vaccinated. What researchers hope, however, is that the vaccine will prevent severe illness in those folks who have been vaccinated but who still contract the disease. Can you get COVID again? The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says, yes, it's possible to be reinfected with COVID. Researchers are studying this right now because it's not known how long natural immunity following the illness will last. And they're also not sure yet what the effect of some of the new variants will have on the possibility of reinfection. But again, it's still considered fairly rare, but it is possible. What is in the vaccine? The vaccine contains a little strand of RNA, which is a nucleic acid, one of the building blocks of life, and it's coated in a, sort of a fatty particle that allows it to enter your bloodstream and enter your cells without um, falling apart. Once in your cells, the RNA goes to a little area of the cell called the ribosome, and there it makes a protein which stimulates your body's immune system to keep you from getting sick with the virus. When is it safe to get vaccinated after having COVID? This is a question you should put to your doctor for the exact timing, but the Centers for Disease Control says that even people who've had COVID should get vaccinated. Don't get vaccinated while you're sick, and if you get monoclonal antibodies or convalescent plasma while you're ill, the CDC says to wait 90 days before getting a vaccination. What are the potential side effects of the vaccines? Researchers say the short-term side effects are pretty similar to other vaccinations. Many people, for example, will get a sore arm near the injection site. Other side effects may include headache, tiredness, or muscle aches, or even a fever, but usually in the first day or two, and then it goes away, according to the CDC. Some people, and the numbers are pretty small, can experience a severe allergic reaction, which can result in difficulty breathing and other problems. This is why they have you wait for 15 to 30 minutes after getting the shot to make sure you're not going to have one of these unusual allergic reactions. And people who do experience this are treated with medication and recover. What happens if you get one dose of the vaccine and you are not able to get the second? Is one dose harmful? Getting one dose of the Pfizer or Moderna vaccine isn't harmful, but so far research shows you won't have the maximum protection unless you get both doses. The CDC says to get your second shot as close to the recommended interval as possible. It recently updated its guidance, however, to say that if that's not possible, it's okay to go as long as 42 days after the first shot. But it warns against getting one brand for your first dose, then having the vaccine of the other brand maker for your second. In other words, get the same vaccine for both doses. Should people taking other medications be concerned about getting a vaccine? The answer to that is that there aren't any known uh, side effects uh, involved in sort of combining other medications. And if you're on, say, cholesterol or high blood pressure medications, there's no reason 
to, to be concerned about any interference. However, um, you should probably avoid getting other vaccines when you're getting this vaccine. And you should also, if you're on steroids or other drugs that are affect your immune response, it's possible that that could interfere with the effectiveness of this, this vaccine. That's something you should probably ask a doctor or the person administering the vaccine to you. Can the vaccines interfere with your DNA? The answer is no. The way that the vaccine works is that it inserts a tiny piece of RNA into your cells where you make a protein out of it and then the RNA disappears. It does not integrate with your own uh, DNA or anything like that. How will variants of the virus react to the vaccines? One thing that viruses always do is mutate. Um, and they're, you know, it's, it's clear that this virus mutates and that if it's circulating widely enough around the world, it's gonna be in enough people that it's going to mutate because that's where the virus mutates is when it's in somebody's body and they're sick and it's bouncing off their immune cells and changing. And then when they get spread this disease to somebody else, they're spreading effectively a new variety of the virus. However, this usually doesn't take place at a rapid pace and we don't have any reason to think that this virus will be as variable as say the flu virus. Um, as you know, we vaccinate with a different variety of the flu vaccine every year to deal with the constantly shifting flu virus. In any case, it's definitely worth getting the vaccine, um, even if we anticipate that the virus is gonna change. Scientists say that there will be some protection that you're gonna get from the vaccine, uh, regardless of the variant that's coming at us. Thank you.